The designer of this CVT transmission with a low-speed launch gear is a genius. It avoids stress on the steel belt during low-speed, high-throttle starts, which could shorten its lifespan. It also ensures optimal fuel efficiency at high speeds. This maximizes the CVT's fuel economy control. Today, from the designer's perspective, we'll briefly explain its working principle. This is the input shaft. Engine power enters the transmission via this shaft. When the K1 clutch engages, this gear becomes the drive gear. Power transfers through this gear to here. Then it moves to this gear. Note that they are not synchronized yet. The key part is here. This is the low speed gear synchronizer. Engage it directly. Now the power is synchronized between them. Then this small gear transfers power here. It continues through reduction gears to the differential. This is the full low speed launch process using gear transmission. At high speeds, the synchronizer releases. After release, the clutch also disengages. Now, engine power goes through this shaft to directly drive the primary pulley. The primary pulley is driven directly. It drives the secondary pulley via the steel belt. The secondary pulley has a clutch pack. This clutch connects to the gear below. Power is now transmitted via the steel belt. This design is very clever. This is the full high-speed steel belt transmission process. Simply put, at high speeds, the K2 clutch engages to transfer power. At low speeds, the K1 clutch engages, transferring power to the gear structure, similar to a manual transmission. Through this video, we hope you become familiar with CVT transmissions that include launch gears. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth transmission knowledge. Thanks for watching.